I'm Tamon Bradley. And I'm Jackie Bang. WGN's Megan Dwyer is live in the newsroom with the latest. Megan. Jackie and Tamon, this attorney told a judge last week that 13-year-old Toledo had a gun in his hand when he was shot. But the body camera video shows Toledo dropping that gun less than a second before police fired. It all comes down to the proffer, an outline of criminal charges that veteran Assistant State's Attorney James Murphy read to a judge in an April 10th hearing. He said Toledo had a gun in his right hand. The officer fired one shot, and then the gun Toledo was holding landed against the fence a few feet away. But that's not exactly what the body camera footage shows. Instead, Toledo appears to drop the gun less than a second before he was shot, exactly 842 milliseconds before as he was raising his hands. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox has now placed that attorney on paid leave. In a statement, a spokesperson for the top prosecutor says, quote, an attorney in our office failed to fully present the facts surrounding the death of a 13-year-old boy. We have put that individual on administrative leave and are conducting an internal investigation into the matter. The office told the Sun-Times that attorney did not watch the body camera footage before the bond court hearing. He was in court for the case against 21-year-old Reuben Roman, the man who was with Toledo that night and whose gun Toledo allegedly had. My instincts tell me it was a mistake. I don't think Jim Murphy intentionally tried to mislead the court. Former Assistant State's Attorney Matt Ficori, who worked under Anita Alvarez and Dick Devine, says prosecutors are normally only given limited information before a bond court hearing, and it would be rare to review all evidence beforehand, even a video. It, it looks bad, right? It looks bad because of the Jesse Smollett case and some other things that have gone on, and it's, it almost looks like this, this big conspiracy. I don't think it's that. Fox has repeatedly stressed her commitment to transparency, but it is still unclear if she will provide more details after the internal investigation concludes. Jackie Tman. All right, Megan, thank you. We'll continue to follow the developments and reaction to the Adam Toledo shooting all weekend. We have more information on our website, WGNTV.com. You can also get breaking updates through our free WGN News app.